happy guys welcome back to another episode of red dead redemption 2 so uh last time we uh wrestled some sheep and uh then we went into valentine where we sold the sheep and uh, we met dutch and unfortunately the railroad guy we robbed at the beginning of the game cornelius something or another uh he was there waiting for us and uh well let's just say it escalated and now valentine is a ghost town as in we killed everybody and I do mean everybody. Literally everyone died. And uh, oh, I also got a new gun, a sniper rifle. It is gold with some beautiful embroidering. That's not the word I'm looking for, engraving. And um, it just looks great. But uh, with that being said, since we did slaughter all of Valentine and the Pinkertons are here waiting on us. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? More than when likely we, we have to leave. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Jose. Oh, stop, Dutch, stop. We okay, well, choice. I'm exhausted, so I need to this lay down and get some soon. sleep. Damn right it will. Let's uh, Constant let's sleep today. until morning. That's ten hours. So yeah, uh, we slaughtered everyone in Valentine. Pinkertons are here. There's probably a good chance we're going to leave, which is sad because I kind of like this uh, little campsite. We're on a hill. We can see everything. Gorgeous scenery. I mean, beautiful landscape. And, um, you know, it's just a pretty cool place to be, but we may have to leave. I mean, I would leave. Seems like so far, all we're really doing is just killing everything that pretty much comes across our path. All right, now that it's daytime, let's go talk to Dutch and uh, figure out what the plan is. My man Dutch, how is it hanging? So, we moving? Yeah, Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here, Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Oh. Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Mm -hmm. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> Uh, I like Charles. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, but yeah, it seems like me and Charles are always doing the heavy lifting. All right, girl. I mean, he usually joins me when we go hunting, but still, I'm doing all the work. Like, all the work. I have to stop the trains when we rob them. I have to get all the supplies before we rob said train. I have to kill everyone in, <laughs> in Strawberry and Valentine to save one person. I mean, I am literally the backbone of this operation. And what do I get for it, huh? Nothing. A pat on the back and no sleep. Pathetic. I even had to buy my own gun. Just sad. Where are the perks of being an outlaw, huh? I'm not doing this for the glory. There is no glory. Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to, and fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Hit a lot of Cornwalls, man. Cornwall. They must know where we are by now. That was his name, Cornwall. Cor Cornelius Cornwall? I'm not sure. One of those weird Western names. Okay, well, I hope wherever we go next is uh, as beautiful and as high up as our last little campsite. Because I really liked being at the top of that hill? I don't know what I want to call it. Mountain? So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Sounds Dutch boring. wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You hey, speak for yourself. Me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. 
I ain't so sure. Man, oh, the no. The on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Ooh, Easy. this could be promising. Pretty, pretty. I mean, not as pretty as our last spot, but... All right, I like it. We have to find a spot somewhere high up. A perch, a nest, like we're birds. So we can get a really good view of the surrounding area. I mean, honestly, let's set up a little fortress somewhere up top of a mountain. Yeah. No, it's not gonna happen, is it? No, it's not. I think yeah. that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yes, you have a feeling everyone in Dutch's camp is starting to realize that uh, there is no end to the running. Our days of being an outlaw, free and proud, and hey, taking what we want is over. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. A body? Oh shit! There's probably already there's probably already someone else here. Huh. Well, I mean, this is pretty much a, a sign, right? Home sweet home. We don't have a dead body. It's not our home. Shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Mm. Damn, you got a blue Third face. Camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any yeah. Here? Let's get ready for business. Let me get my gun. Hold up. Shoot first, debate second. <laughs> shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. Okay, uh, let me break out my sexy new sniper rifle that's made of gold. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. And let me get my shotgun just in case. Little dual wielding action. Can you imagine? Sniper rifle in one hand, shotgun in the other. No one would mess with us. Oh, I can loot the body? Excuse me, Mr. Blueface Corpse. I need to loot you. Okay, well. Let's have a look around and make sure. 49 cents. <laughs> Whoever killed him didn't bother to loot him. Not that it's worth the effort for 49 cents. Oh, it's abandoned. This better not be the, the location of our next everybody? site. Our next camp. Maybe this is just sad. Be careful. I'm being careful. Hmm. Let me go on and break my shotgun out just in case. Oh, the fire's still going. There's probably someone around here hiding. I mean, there's no way they would leave their campsite behind. Hey, who's out there? Come out with your hands up. Let me pop you in the booty hole. I love these guns. They look so Someone's badass now. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Ah. Uh. He's probably hiding below the wagon. Oh, hello. It's a family. What's left of one, at least. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. Oh, that was her husband. Out you there in okay? the mud. You don't mean no harm. Shader, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Oh, it's German. German. No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Oh. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? Hey, no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. <laughs> He is right. Arthur has a the soft girl side. Pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Oh, maybe that's not her uh, husband. Maybe that's just a random person. There, tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. This guy has eagle eyes. He can just What's see going anything. What's with you? What do you mean? You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. 
We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Oh, I think he does know you Hold pretty up. well. Let me check this. What you see? Eagle eyes? I just see mud. This guy's probably gonna see perfect tracks, right? Can you smell them? Okay, looks like they go down this way. What are you looking at? I don't see anything. This guy has lived off the land for a so, long time. He's... <laughs> what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Are we searching for this man, or are we trying to find, uh... Oh wait, of course we're trying to find the guy, never mind. Or maybe the people that attacked the camp. I mean, this might be a good location for our camp. We got some water close by. Continues uh along the shore here. So you were saying... Bastards told me they killed Mac. Set it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Yeah, just the wrong type of people looking out for him. <laughs> Degenerates and outlaws. What a great family, right? John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Careful. <laughs> What's left uh, of it? He reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. <laughs> what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Wait, wait, just let me make sure this is right. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I wonder. Oh, okay. I've got my ghostly vision. I can sense their presence. Like I was talking about when Jack was real young, a long while. Year. You did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Oh, I'm ready to pop some fools. Search the camp for the settler. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Oh, I hope it's not deserted. After killing all those innocent people in uh, Valentine, I need to find a bad person to kill. Kind of square things up. Because that's how that works. Oh. 40 innocent people killed, one bad guy. Square it up. Going to heaven, baby. Anybody in here? Where is this guy? Come out with your hands up. Know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Oh, it's so Maybe. boring, though. Come on, man. You really don't want to stay here. This place is boring. Oh, there's still a fire going. Who's in here? Come out with your hands up. What the hell? Is there a baby crying? Oh, shit. Never mind. It's a guy this tied up. Like our feather, Charles. Quick. Cut him free and let's get out of here. Sprechen's Deutsch? Okay, well, he's alive. Thank goodness. All right, calm down. Oh shit, it's a trap! Wow! You think it's a trap? More like it's about to be a lot of fun! Pop that guy in the skull, pop him in the shoulder. Damn, this shotgun shreds! I love it! Oh ho ho! Woo! Damn, this gun's awesome! Come here, cowboy! No, that's a mountain man, what am I saying? Oh, nicely done, Charles. Drop his ass. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. <laughs> if I miss, he can get the uh, the kill for me, right? Is that it? Well, that's We're good. Dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. All right, my man. How's it hanging? Here, Druben. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Oh, Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. 
Right, oh, three. boo. Boo, this place is boring. It's nowhere near as pretty as our little perch we had back there. Oh, well, whatever. Let me loot these bodies. Last episode when we killed everyone in Valentine, it really bummed me out that I couldn't loot the bodies. It's like the easiest way to pick up supplies, money, tonics. There we go. One minute, Mr. German, sir. I'm just looting these bodies. Hope you don't mind. Look at that, see? I got six cartridges. Man, that guy got it in the shoulder. <laughs> oh, shit. Just loot this body. Oh, we got gun oil. See what I mean? This is awesome. One more body over here. Horse medicine? Wait, Napoleon, you can get sick? I didn't realize you could get sick. Oh, we have horse medicine now if my horse is sick. More horse medicine. God damn. All right, all right. Hop on up. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? I don't understand, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do, but obviously Arthur can't. That would take a lot of balls, going to a different country and not speaking the language. I would be scared to death to try that. Especially back in the days of the Wild West where there, you know, wasn't much help like Google Translate. <laughs> well, I suppose that camp isn't the best, but it, it'll do. What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. <laughs> oh, isn't that the truth, though? <laughs> oh, you can barely speak English. Oh, that's like me. It's my native language. Can't even speak it. Just barely. Just enough to, you know, yep. say a few words. I would like some popcorn when I go to the movie theaters, or uh, I've got to take a shit. That's about it. I know curse words. I am fluent in cursing, but normal English, proper grammar? No, I'm terrible. Some people can speak three, four, five languages. They know everything. Eidetic memories. Your boy over here barely speaks English. <laughs> Guess that's why uh, I like the character Arthur Morgan so much. We have a lot in common. Like this dashing mustache that's falling off my face or choking me at any time in the video when I'm randomly inhaling hairs. Ah. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. You're welcome. Oh. Andreas, Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, <lacht> das war. They understand that. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Whoa, is that a gold bar? Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. What the It's hell? A pleasure. Yeah. Homie's just got a random gold bar below his wagon. Okay, sure. But maybe he's like a robber, an outlaw, a gangster. Who knows? You're right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <sighs> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Is that a fact? And by we, of course, you mean me, because Dutch never works. <laughs> He's always listening to weird opera music. Not even opera music, depressing music. Chapter three. I wonder how many chapters there are in this game. Yeah, Dutch, I, I've never seen Dutch do any work. He's literally always giving speeches, dish, dishing out orders, or uh, sitting in his tent. <laughs> Only time he wants to ever do anything is when we're going on a raid to uh, rob a train. Gold ingot, I wonder how much that ingot is worth. I mean, it's a fat bar, it must be worth a lot, right? 
Unless the, it's just like a bar made of regular iron coated in gold. Your boy got ripped off. All right, all right. Let's uh, check out the new digs. And you know what? I'm gonna take back what I said. This isn't too bad. I kind of like it. New horses are available. No, 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 no. I can't get a new horse. I have Napoleon. Best damn horse in the Wild West. Not really. Hello He's morning. actually not that great at all. Slow and lazy. Like me. Hey, do you think... Do you worry... About? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? <sighs> Ignore that. I won't pretend ignorance. I know just what you mean. Really? I don't know. Things seem bad. World is changing, and... I'm not making much sense, am I? I can't tell if everyone in the camp wants to go robbing and pillaging, or if they want to just, uh, settle down. I would think they would want to settle down and kind of, you know, take it easy, relax. Have a permanent residence. But then again, maybe not. There's a few of us here that are absolutely psycho. here with your name on it, Arthur. Oh, how's it going there? No, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna walk around and see the new campsite. We definitely need to go hunting, and we need medical supplies. That much is, uh, certain. Morning. What's up? Let me see if I can donate any supplies to the camp. Oh, here we go. It needs better meat. Donate for provisions. I've got a single fish. There you go. We also need ammunition. We've got bait. Lotion. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save those. All right, well, I know I can go out and probably, uh, definitely kill a couple of deer now that I have my badass sniper rifle. But, for now, we really haven't done much, so I think we're gonna go do another job. Another story mission. Ooh, okay. Dutch. Let's go talk to Dutch and see what he wants. Too much thinking, Jose. And yes, I did just mark the directions on the map because he's literally three feet away, and I might get lost. You never know. Man that can barely speak English, he might get lost trying to walk three feet. Hey, Dutch! How's it going? Top of the morning to you, my fine friend. How you doing, old friend? <laughs> doing well. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. I think we he's delusional. Today. It's nice out. Old old dreamers. He says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. What? And this one is it? Okay, then. <laughs> Following you? I have got to get some fancy clothing like him. I mean, look at those threads. My man is just... Woo! Fancy clothing. That's how you have to do it. New world? New time to be alive? You boys over here rocking gold shotguns, gold sniper rifles. Well, one sniper, one shotgun. But they're gold. That's the important part. With engravings made of silver. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good long over, Dutch. <laughs> Very Always funny. Green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go. Right, oh, are we about to go fishing again? Last time I went fishing, Pinkerton showed up, so you might want to watch out. Fishing seems to be bad luck around these parts. But yeah, I need a fancy outfit like that to match my fancy guns. Behind you. Go on. Actually, hold up. I just remembered. Let me go on and put my hat back on. Oh, wrong hat. That is embarrassing. I can't be seen in a hat like that. Um, let me see. Uh, there we go. Idiot. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there. Oh. There was us. 
The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. Oh, don't, don't tell me. I know. Me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. He's taking Both us to you. Alaska. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Wait, local we'll town? turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. We fish the choo -choo and train. enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Oh, I love trains. This is awesome. I wonder why it stopped, though. Oh, they've got a prisoner. Hmm. Hello. Howdy do, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't <laughs> sort this out. Hmm. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Great Drake. name. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, no, no. Look at him no. trying to I'm break sure out. He wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we. Can we just. Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Oh, Shit. he's I... snitching. The Anderson boys. I can't have more scandal. Well, they're on the train well, now. Allow us to help, my friend. Arthur. Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. <laughs> Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Oh, come, come on. on. All right. Come on, we're losing them. All right, we're Napoleon. Yeehaw, come on. Ride, Napoleon, ride. Master, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Oh, That's these the aliases, I love them. My neck is on the line here. I get it, I'm doing my best. This train is hauling ass. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No, did I not say that? Oh, you, you said, said it, plenty. party pooper. Goddamn power hide behind that man. Woo! Oh, <laughs> shit! Leave him, stay with that train. Oh, wow. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's <laughs> our chance. Get to the side of the train. <laughs> oh, my man got the sense knocked right out of him. Hurry, get alongside it. I'm trying. Come on, get Napoleon, chop, chop. Carriage. Oh, no. Oh, no. Down, oh, no. Bastard. You think you can jump on there? Yeah. yeah. Woo! Uh, I got it. Oh, look at him throwing bottles. Oh, damn. Arthur, get him. Oh, shit. Yo, get this man. Come on. Look at him. He's weak. I can't get over the guy that died. <laughs> oh, hiding behind your badge. Kathum. Chase the remaining Anderson brothers. Or boys, rather. 
Hey, boys, where you going? Get your ass over here. I don't know why I turned into a proper southern southern gentleman. Proper southern gentleman. I like fried chicken. Okay. Hopefully they're dumb enough to do the same thing. <laughs> mm, that's right. Ooh, I'm gonna knock the lights out of you. Damn, right hook, right off the train too. Woo. Oh, he's dead. Well, I guess technically if I'm not shooting them, it's not my fault if gravity does all the work, right? Hey, come here, ponytail. Let me break that neck. Oh, you're stuck now. Lawman. You got it all twisted. Okay, oh, oh, oh. We're gonna have to fight a man that has a knife out. Mm. Oh, what's the matter, fool? Oh, can't stop what you can't see. Oh, ow. Hey, all right, listen, I'm not a fresh slab of meat. You can't slice me like that. Mm. I'll break your teeth. You're gonna be the, oh shit, you're gonna be the ugliest man in prison. Let me tell you what. They're not even gonna be able to recognize it's you. Oh, nope, that's because you're dead. Wow. I literally killed every one of the Anderson boys. Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. <laughs> oh, just a barrel. <sighs> yeah, he got you a couple of times with that knife. Wait, did I? Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not. Okay, so I, I guess I didn't kill any of them. Even though the, the little uh, radar shows an X. I assume they're dead, but what about the guy that got hit in the back of the head on the train? Surely he's dead. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. Hmm. A Look fine <laughs> job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Now we're helping the lawman. That's what there I call you lying low. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brain to the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Oh, well, yeah. I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? Claire. No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful mm. people, truly awful. Ooh. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. I think they need to be robbed. Estates. Oh, that is a big house. Oh, they got all types of money in there. Bear left here. Well, 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 I think it's time for us to go uh, lighten their pockets. They need to pay their dues to society. Dutch has asked the gang to not use weapons or cause trouble in roads, okay? So obviously I can't kill anyone. Boring. I wish we had that same type of law or a rule oh. back in Strawberry and Valentine. Okay, well this town looks like it's a little bit bigger, a little are. bit less mud Welcome too. To Rhodes. Mm. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Ooh. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sure thing. Kind of want to go to the gun shop or clothing store, okay. general store, and this see way. if there's any new clothing. I like how the hey, horses fella. are shitting in... in uh, in synchronized uh, fashion. I don't know what I was trying to say just then. They're, they're shitting at the same time, whatever. English is very hard, like I said. I'm basically him. 
I can't speak English. <laughs> yeah. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me. Oh, gentlemen. you don't want to say that. Oh, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's all. Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? What the hell is a super agent? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Very fancy. Have a lovely day, sir. All right, all right, okay. we're in a new town. These two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? <laughs> ah, shit. Let's go fishing. Sure. Why not? Great. Hosea. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Hmm. Kind of a dusty town. I feel like you would need to have some type of, uh, breathing apparatus to even, I don't know, stay here. I mean, look at this place. You're basically inhaling pure dust. And we're in a town where there's two major families that are feuding, so, uh, that could be fun. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Following you? Again, I want to go to the general store and see what they have. I, I don't know if each town has, like, a universal catalog, and it kind of carries over with every so other town. Is this creek? Or if, uh, each town is something it's a different. It's of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Mmm. Until we come back and slaughter the town because we decide to stop at the saloon and have one drink and everything went south. Sure, until then. Um, where's the spot? Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. 
He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Hey! I'll have you know, even though I find the sport of fishing boring, I'm quite good at it. Very funny. I mean, not really. I caught like one fish and then one little tiny fish I threw back. Not even a single bite. That's how small the fish was. It was fish that you could use as bait for other fish. Man, this is a very far ride. Like how, oh my God, how far do we have to go? So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. This is the spot, down to the left there. Wow, we couldn't have gone fishing in our own backyard. I mean, our camp has literally a shore with a massive Ooh. lake. We could have fished there. But uh, I guess you have to fish somewhere other than your own backyard, right? It's not fishing. If you're fishing in your own backyard, you have to go somewhere else. <laughs> this looks exactly like I where saw we some were. Boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh well. Okay. If the water's deeper, I guess there's better fish here. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. What boats? Oh, are we gonna go out in the middle of the uh, the lake? Huh. Well, I guess that would make it easier to fish, huh? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Following you? Careful. Uh, Napoleon has to get on the boat, by the way. I don't leave my horse behind. Is that, uh, is that okay with you guys? It's so weird how the horses shit at the same time. They're synchronized. All right. <laughs> this looks like a fine vessel. Indeed. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Mm. I bet a hundred bucks the boat sinks. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Hey! <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy <laughs> picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for... Good luck and stupid fish. Stupid fish? <laughs> what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Get us a bit deeper. All right, all right. Let's go out into the uh, middle of the water, the deepest part, and go fishing. Let's try and catch a, uh, a shark, an alligator, barracuda, maybe a squid. You never know. Let's go for the biggest possible fish. Hey, here's good. Let's right. catch a whale. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, uh, let me equip my fishing rod. Come uh, on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Hmm. Okay, lake lure. Uh, oh, it's down here. I want a good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but... You'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Okay. Come on, little fishies. Bite the hook. You Arthur, know you, you wanna... Oh, there we go. There we go. Got one. Ah, I should have had that one. Oh, was that not me? Oh, that wasn't me. Damn it. I thought I got a fish. It looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Oh, Arthur, I do? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Water, Come on, little please. fishy. Nice, you hooked him. Got yeah, him. that's right. Get your little fishy ass over here. It's about to be a big one. A whopper. Come on. We're going to have enough meat from this one fish to eat for that a month. Like oh, a bite. Oh. Got one. Shit. Got away. Come on. That's right. Give up, fishy. Oh, it's small. That's a tiny fish. Hey, My luck hey, is just terrible. Hey. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella, 
told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I want one of those. See that? All right, come on, fishing yeah, yeah. rod. <clears throat> or rather, uh, I guess bait. Remember that time we sent Give me Arthur some good luck. Fishing. He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe twenty. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. That's you what I'm talking about. Now, Arthur. That's They're the way to do it. Oh! I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. Ha 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 you're a real funny man. I might swim to shore. Not bad, Arthur. I am literally catching nothing but four pound fish. Give me something that's 55 pounds. I want a shark. Or a whale. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that. Oh, that was a throw. Uh, yeah, or cast, it's rather. Spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You hooked mm. Well done. Let me guess, Did three I pounds. Did I tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 Oh, yo, I want to catch the snake. Again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Now, reel them in, Arthur. All right, look, I know how to go fishing, even if I'm bad at it. I want to catch the snake. <laughs> All right, wow, I need to catch a fish that's at least seven pounds, or I'm going to be embarrassed for myself. Come on, Arthur. Oh. You gotta catch a fish that's at least five pounds. Break your record. I have I have yet to find a single fish that's over four pounds. This lake is full of small nice midget fish. Down, Arthur. Can a can a fish be a midget? No, it can't. Oh my I god, they're all four one. pounds. I want to catch that snake so bad. Come here, snake. What type of bait would I use to catch a snake with a fishing rod? I'm not sure. <laughs> all right, this is it. I can feel it. This is gonna be the fish that's going to be five pounds. Five delicious pounds of fish, right? I should probably throw some of those fish back, but I'm gonna keep them simply because I want something I can donate to the camp. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Mm, there we go, that's a far cast. I'm actually amazed by how much dialogue is in this game. There's so much dialogue. They, they they must have put 
years into this. Just the uh, the dialogue alone. It's incredible. It feels like a real breathing living world with real people, there, not Arthur. a video game with some linear dialogue. You got something biting, Arthur. Oh. That's on the hook, Arthur. Oh, thanks a lot for stating the obvious. Okay, I swear to God, if this fish isn't at least five pounds, I'm gonna stab the fish and throw it back in the, the, the river. I'm gonna be wasteful. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Get tired, fishy. Get tired. You're gonna weigh five pounds and you're gonna like it. I want a fat fish. I want a morbidly obese fish. Come on, stop moving. I can feel it. Oh yeah, he's pulling hard. This is gonna be a morbidly obese fish. Nope, psych, never mind. It's a malnourished, skinny go. fish. That's a nice one. Let me guess, four pounds, uh, three ounces. <laughs> four pounds, four ounces. I am so Even good at predicting this. All right, boys. Uh, you know, I think I'm done with fishing now. You, uh, you want to go? Anyone? I'm kind of bored of fishing now. All I'm catching are fish that are exactly four pounds. And also, my mustache is starting to fall off. Are you just spectating now, Arthur? I am indeed. Just like that that uh, snake is. He's over there, just kind of floating in the water, watching. Or maybe he's dead. I'm not sure. All right. You know what? This is it. I'm gonna throw. The fattest cast of my life. You can't throw a cast. I'm gonna cast the furthest cast of my life, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is it. This fish is going to weigh 20 pounds to make up for all the other fish. I can sense it. There's a morbidly obese fish down here at the deepest part of the water, and I'm about to hook his ass. That's right. Come on, you fat little fish. I've got a donut at the end of my hook. You wanna take a bite? Got a nibble there, Arthur. Oh, the line, yes, Arthur. I do. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is probably going to be another four-pound fish. He didn't struggle too much. Now, see, I don't like fishing in real life, but I can I can stomach fishing in video games. Because I know when I'm bored with fishing, I can go kill people, which is way better than real-life fishing. When you're done with fishing or you're bored of it in real life, you just go home and eat the fish. Not as much fun. All right, stop squirming, stop wiggling. You're going to be dinner tonight. Just accept your fate. Look at that snake over there, what is he doing? Just slithering in the corner. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just succumb to your fate. I wonder if this You're snake could take my fish. This. Do snakes even eat fish? I'm not sure. And four pounds, six ounces. Oh my God. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Okay, look, I may not be the smartest man alive, but I'm not that dumb. Don't forget fish is in bag. Uh, uh, uh. How much longer are we going to do this? Cause your boy's kind of done. Anyone? Is there a, uh, a limit to how many fish we can catch? I think I have enough for even Mr. Pearson, as obese as that man is. Well, um, this Are is you uh, bored already, Arthur? Yes, I am. In fact, we're playing a video game. I'm supposed to be able to fish in video game time, as in like 10 minutes is equal to 10 hours. I've been here for over 10 minutes, so it's been like 10 hours in your world. So can we, can we stop fishing now? No, no, I don't want my video to be 45 minutes of me fishing. Hey, I reckon we oh. call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Wow, I wish I could have known that by All simply right. putting up my fishing Think rod. We got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you. Fun. Boys. Fun. Now, hold there. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. <laughs> what? I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Gotta love cowboy music. <laughs> I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and knocked off some. Wow, what a great song! Faster by. Mm -hmm. A 
I wish to God I passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three uh, <laughs> mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners. We come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round and round. round, round. Oh, amazing. Acapella at its finest. Marshal men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round of round of round of round of round of round. In Harmony Boys, Unison, what are you doing? Oh, bravo! Bravo! Amazing. The voice of angels. The folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. You know, we had too much fun. Caught some fish, sung some drunken songs. Endless amounts of fun. I wish I could have known that by put, putting my rod up, that would have ended the fishing trip. It could have saved me a lot of time. <laughs> it's fine though. Again, I'm amazed by how much dialogue there is in this game. It's so polished. It's so in depth. There's just, I don't know. It, it gives you everything you need to really feel like you're here, living the life of a, uh, a group of outlaws on the run. It's incredible. All right. I'm very impressed. I think. I, but I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Mm. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. Well, I'm glad you think so. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. All right, well, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Jokes. I'll give these fish to Pearson. All right, so we went fishing. We have a new campsite. You know, I think I've heard enough of your Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, oh just a my god. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Mm. You should try and get a heart from the Wizard of Oz. Heartless man. What is happening? Do I hear fighting? Yeah, you know what? Who cares? Uh, let's go to Mr. Pearson and drop off the fish. So yeah, we have a new campsite. New location. Actually, the view's quite beautiful on the lake. On the ladies. And again, I am just amazed by the sheer depth of this see, game. I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Oh! Near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife uh -oh. down, you could be missing a uh -oh. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. The bastards that spotted me at the bar are taking the bullets out of me gun. So I stood there laughing. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. Mm -hmm. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for <laughs> dinner. Damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> Go on, skin his ass. Come with me then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. No, I think you want it. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? 
Maybe me and Miss Zed are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? All right, well, Mrs. Adler's gonna go with this on a little, uh, little journey. But for now, I think I'm gonna end it there. Um, a lot has happened this episode. Again, I'm just so impressed by the, the depth, the, the amount of detail in the game. It's fantastic. I feel like I'm actually in the world and it's not just uh, little pieces built around the story to make it seem believable. There's so much in it. It actually feels too believable, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and until next time, peace out.